Hi, this is Mark Hodgkins again with the Omnitech Corporation in Fenton, Michigan. I want to take a few minutes and demonstrate a software that we offer. I'm pretty excited about it. It's from Renishaw and it's called Modus. And we're using Modus with a UCC server controller. It kind of looks like this. You can see the environments. We have different environments that you can use with the controller. We're set up for our machine here and we're using a PH20 probe head. So I've created a program uh, template offline and I just want to show you what we can do um, writing an offline program and then we'll take it on to the machine live. So we're looking at the user interface and here on the left is the programming code it uses a Demus language and we're currently at the uh, 5.2 Demus standard you can see as we run through the code um, it'll control the machine obviously but it doesn't issue the command until this line is stepped on by the program so if I hit the run button, I place the cursor up in the top left and I hit this run button, it'll run through the code. So that's what it looks like. Or I could step through the code line by line, stop the uh, program from running. Also, to edit this code, you can just double click it and a dialog window will open. You can change your settings and your values there. You can use special characters in the tolerance labels with uh, your shortcut keys. So we're using Alt plus 0177 to create that plus or minus symbol. So I'll start this again from the beginning and now these commands have been written into the program you can see it populates this Explorer window it shows the datums that have been created and the tolerances as I go along and measure features this Explorer window will also be populated next to that is what's called the grid window where you can do editing of your nominal information before the code is generated the window next to that is called the output where the features will be reported and then I have the DRO showing the probe position in relation to whatever the active coordinate system is. So right now we're at datum 0 which I look in my code that is the machine's coordinate right here. So my DRO is in relation to the machine. I'm offline so it's using the machine's position to place the probe head. I can choose to show the machine volume and table or not. With a right mouse click in this model window I go to the model explorer and I can turn these features off. And I personally don't want to see the volume because I'm working offline and it gets a little confusing because everything is going to start from the machine's coordinate at 000. zero, zero. So the first thing I'll do is bring in a model. I've already opened this model in the past so it was in my quick reference list. I'm using my mouse to manipulate the view. Use the center wheel for um, rotation, push down on it, and then the center wheel rolled, scrolled in and out for zoom, and then the control key in the center wheel to pan. Now you can see the model was brought in at the machine's zero zero position also and so the head probe head is also in that position. I'm going to turn off the probe head for now. It looks like I probably should turn off the quill as well. 
and I am going to start a simple program using a one-point alignment so with the you see how the CAD model is changing to a shaded and not shaded you can control that with these view tools across the top you also have some predefined views the zoom all showing the CAD model or not right now the CAD model is showing but it's overlaid with the machine's coordinates so I'm gonna tell the operator to take a point on the datum corner So when I acknowledge this or say OK, that's what the message will look like to the operator. And then I'm also going to create a view just using this model record camera command. You can see how that was written into the program. So if I restart this program, here's my operator prompt and there's my picture I just created now I'm going to take a manual point I touch the CAD where I want the point to be taken adjust the nominals so it's right on the corner and then make sure I'm in manual mode click apply and then apply so now I've just created a manually measured point on that corner I'm going to translate to that feature. So now my coordinate system will be changed to datum 1, and that's my active part coordinate system. Now I'm going to measure the top plane. And I'm using the pH 20, so I'd like to take advantage of the head touches. So I will add touches around a centroid. I'm going to adjust that. I happen to know what the offset values should be. And then you pick the center of where you want the offset points. And then click apply. It generates a path. Acknowledge that. And click apply. So here are your point generation. Now it always seems to create an extra point in this center location, so I'll delete that and then click apply. Now what we didn't see is this was uh, ran in the offline mode, so I'll turn the probe head back on so we can see it. So that's where the probe head will finish measurement. Now if I look at my axes, I want to move the probe head over, so I'm going to add a move tool or a move position. And I know that it's going to be, I want it about 10 in the Y axis and I want it up above the part Z and the current position in X is minus 111. So I say OK. It moved over there. And what I'm doing is I'm re-measuring, or not re-measuring, I'm measuring the datum features to create a DCC alignment. So now I'm going to measure a line and I can adjust the nominal. Um, actually, I want it to start at 120. And I want it to end at minus 5. And you'll notice graphically it's updated. And then I want to add the touches. And I'll take a look at this in the 
front view. Now that's going to be quite a large head touch angle, a big sweep. What happens is the probe head moves over here and then it'll come down and swing up and make a touch on that edge. So I don't want it that far out. I want to take it to about 30 in the Y. You can see it updates. So now the probe head is going to be more in a vertical position. And I'll just click apply. The uh, points are generated. Need to go make sure I'm not hitting in the air, which I am, so I can adjust that point. 62 is too far. I'm going to make it about 57 in the X. And so now it's updated. I click apply. It's measured. Now, I could take a point on the side, but I like to take two lines and construct a point. First thing I'm going to do is move it, and this time I want it to be, oh, about 10 in X, and I want Y to be around 0. Okay. I'm going to measure this line across the side and the y-axis. Now sometimes this happens where you don't get the start point or the end point. See the arrow indicates normal to that surface. Well the normal I want to be along the x-axis. I'm going to change that. And then my start point I want to start at minus 5 and Y and I want it to end approximately minus 95. My start didn't update. update. I didn't, uh, must not have hit the green check. Okay, so that looks good. I want to add the touches and look at this view from the left. Again, I'm going to change this to 30 in the X, so I'm not such a big angle. I hit Apply. Verify my points. Looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to move up in the Z. Make that at, uh, make it 20. This will be at minus 95 where it is now. It's now moved up away. And I can create my datum alignment. I want my plane as my primary. My line for my X is my secondary. Oh, uh, jumped ahead of myself. I want to, I could have used the other line too, but let me show you how to construct a point. I'm going to construct a point from intersecting lines, lines one and two. I'm going to adjust my Z normal. Say OK. Now I'll do my datum structure. set my coordinates and say OK. Now from there I can continue in DCC mode, measure a circle, go for the center circle, do it in auto, and all I have to do is say apply. And now this angular surface on the front I'm going to inspect as a circle 
and I'm going to do it in relative measurement. Auto mode, and there you go. So that's a quick demonstration of modus. Now I'm going to take it out to the machine, and I'm going to run it live. So I brought the program over to the machine and I'm going to launch it here. You notice the dialog window that opens up here on the model tab. I'll select the model. Say OK. That'll bring in the model and then the program will populate and I'll hit the run button and start the program. Take the point on the corner I take the joystick and physically drive to the datum corner. Take the touch. Just got to be close. Now I'm using the handset box and I press the F1 key to acknowledge this message in the program runs in DCC automatic mode. All of the moves when you were in auto mode other than for planes and lines those will have to be put in manually but for the circle measurements it uses the clearance planes that the circles are defined in for uh, moving to that feature automatically and it also equally distributes the touches in automatic mode. If I were to use program mode it's a DCC mode but I would have to specify each individual point. This is a vector build or relative measure for this circle. I know that that angular plane is quite a bit off but all those five axes moves were done automatically using auto mode. So there you have it. That's Modus with PH20.